Hi all, this is the uh, first test of the steam boiler. We have a water pump feeding the water. We have an automatic sensor switch. The spark plug is acting as a sensor. As soon as the water hits the spark plug, the motor will cut out. We're currently empty. Um, I'll go over here, got my water control unit. Just have to switch the switch. If everything works, we should fill up and then stop. Okay, we're filling up. And we should be turning off soon if everything goes well. Oh, I've got a drip. <laughs> Takes around about two litres. Ah, something worked. It turned off. Okay, we're primed and ready to go. Got my steam gauge, got a pressure release valve. This one's um, 50 psi for the testing. I've tested the pipes with air to 60 psi. Had seven leaks in the boiler tubes. Repaired all of them and um, I'll get ready with the fire and I'll be back. Okay, just started the fire. Uh, have the steam valve open at the moment so the pressure and the steam can come out. We're still cold, it's only just started. All right, I'll be back in a minute when it's nearly up to temperature. It's been five minutes since I've set the fire and we've got 10 psi with the gauge open but I haven't heard the water pump kick back in yet Creeping up to 15 psi. Drop that down to 10. But we're not even hot yet. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. We're just past the 20 psi with the valve still open a bit. As long as it doesn't get a runaway. Taking it up to 30. The blow off valve will blow off at 50 psi. I'll let some air out, I guess then. Open the valve a bit, the spark plug is starting to leak.
30. Coming up to 40 PSI, gonna let the mare out. Blow off valve should blow off at 50 PSI. Yeah. That's no water. Run up to fifty PSI. That was the blow off valve. Did it work? Yeah. Oh, it went down. Creeping back up to 40. Creeping down on and off now. Going up to 50 again. Should <laughs> blow off in a minute. Blow on off. That dumps some steam. Holding that 30 PSI. It's uh, maintaining its 30 PSI with the valve just open. I think I have something wrong with the um, water level indicator. The pump doesn't seem to be turning on by itself. The steam could be too wet.
holding at 40 psi with the valve open a bit. And now if you can see the steam just dropping. I'm almost run out of wood. The fire is still burning a bit. We're still, we hit the 30 PSI. Not bad for a first test run. Steam, the steam seems to be better now. Drier. I think the water level indicator would work better now. The whole thing's got to be wrapped in the outer casing and insulation put in. It's losing too much heat. This is the old hot water system outer casing which is going to be wrapped around the boiler. It's got the chimney hole in it and the three pipe holes and then what goes in in there is um, perlite. You fill the whole thing up with perlite. And if the boiler fails, I've got a turbo jet with uh, another turbo on the side here, which will drive a pulley and a generator. By that one, I'm waiting for a radiator cooler, oil cooler, and a filter. Only consumed in about 2 hours, 15 litres. That's a 20 litre bucket. So not too bad for water usage.